Gus, that turned into a game of two halves? Oh, quite clearly, you know, but I don't think we can accept the performance that we got in the first 45 minutes. We made mistakes, you know, selection issues there as well that, you know, we gambled, you know, with players that declared themselves fit, you know, and they're trained for a couple of weeks, so we've got to take responsibility in that as well, we won't do that again. Um, but we've had to make changes as the game goes on just to shore things up because that standard of defending, you know, can't be accepted at this level of football or at any level of football, you know, and I think uh, if you've worked, worked with youth team players, you would be trying to help them in, in those certain situations, but this, these are first team players making basic, basic mistakes, and, and they get punished today, Clyde, you know, put them under pressure in the other half of the pitch and they couldn't deal with it uh, in the first half, um, but we've put them back, an experienced centre midfield player stroke striker to shore things up, we shouldn't have to do that but uh, he certainly did that, Tony Quinn. And overall, Tony showed a lot of heart and desire when he went back to centre half. He defended very, very well, you know, and he won his fair share of challenges in the air. He, he competed very well, everything that we weren't doing in the first half. And uh, you know, as I said, we shouldn't have to do that, you know, we, but we had to. You know, it was there for us, I think. We, we said to the players at half time, if you can get the first goal in the second half, who knows? We then created two or three really, really good chances. Blair Spittle, BJ Cole, that in those areas, if we got the second goal, it may have been a different game, but uh, we, we can't forget the first 45 minutes. That's the one crucial point that uh, we saw in the second half against Annan, you know, an unacceptable performance, and we've got that for the first 45 today. So we take that on board and we learn from it. Eamon Brophy came off the bench today, scored a goal, generally impressed. Yeah, yeah, I think he's he's coming from a level of football um, and desperate to show, you know, he's, he's capable of getting back to that level. I don't think there's any doubt. You know, we've got to be thankful to Hamilton for allowing it, uh, the deal to be done. Um, been impressed with him and his attitude as well, but um, he'll offer us something a little bit different up front, and, you know, and hopefully we can give him more supply to get more goals. And what will be the plans in the training ground this week? It's just back in, we've got a reserve game on Monday, we'll work hard, um, but rest assured there'll be changes next Saturday for the game against uh, Albion Rose.